Today's update is just a little safety and drivability on the Mustang. What I've done is installed a new set of brake rotors and brake pads in the front. It needed those. And a little bit more importantly, it's got new lower control arms on it. That's that black metal thing here. And I replaced the old ones, which look like this. Um, they're not rusted through or anything like that. Uh, you can see that the bushing is a little bit cracked on the inside there. So that's part of why I wanted to replace it. But the other part that's a little bit more pressing is the ball joints themselves, these guys. The weight of the front of the car is pulling on these, as in trying to separate them. Now, I don't have two hands right now to pull this apart, but you can imagine that the bottom of this is pushing down and the top of it, where the threads are, is pulling up. And over time, eventually, that lets go. And when it lets go, there's not really much warning. It just lets go and the front of your car drops. And if you're going slowly, well, you damage your fender, your tire comes up and smacks the fender and uh, damages that and damages the bottom of your brakes. And, uh, you know, it's usually not that bad, except that you have to find a new fender somewhere. But if you're going faster, well, use your imagination what could happen. So rather than wait for that to happen on its own, I just did some preventative maintenance. This thing has lasted a quarter century so far. It doesn't owe anybody anything. So I got a new set of lower control arms that include new ball joints and also include, of course, new bushings. And they're nice and shiny and black. Uh, additionally, I got the new brake rotors and new brake pads. And the next thing I'm doing here is I'm going to be replacing the brake hoses, the actual soft lines. I've got five of those because there's two in the front and three in the back. And those are going to just replace this 30 year old rubber that's sitting here because if this ruptures, you have no brakes. And that I think is a bad thing. So I'm just gonna replace these. And at the same time, of course, take the opportunity to exchange out all of the brake fluid that's in the system because it's old and crusty.